The Los Angeles Rams are off to a disastrous start in the 2024 NFL season after suffering a crushing 41-10 defeat at the hands of the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday at State Farm Stadium. This latest blow leaves the Rams winless after two games, a first under head coach Sean McVay's eight-year tenure. Known for his ability to guide the team to five playoff appearances, two Super Bowl berths, and one championship, McVay now finds himself in unfamiliar territory. This is not a fun place to be in, McVay admitted following the game. There's nothing positive about it. The Rams, who had dominated the Cardinals during McVay's era, especially in away games, were thoroughly outplayed from the opening kickoff. The game began ominously for the Rams as Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray immediately took command of the offense. Murray shredded the Rams' defense with two quick touchdown passes to rookie sensation Marvin Harrison Jr. On Arizona's first two possessions, by halftime, the Cardinals were up 24-3, thanks to a third touchdown pass by Murray to tight end Elijah Higgins. The Rams' defense, once spearheaded by the now-retired Aaron Donald, seemed ill-equipped to deal with the dual threat of Murray's passing and rushing abilities. Murray ended the day with 266 passing yards, three touchdowns, and an additional 59 rushing yards on just five carries. It sucks, admitted Rams rookie edge rusher Jared Verse, the team's first-round draft pick, who struggled to contain Murray. You got it right there, a couple of times you got in his face and everything like that, frustrating him, but he's one of those running quarterbacks that can kill you with his feet. James Conner added to the Rams' woes, rushing for 122 yards and a touchdown on 21 carries. By the time Connor extended Arizona's lead to 31-3 with a short third-quarter touchdown run, the game was well out of reach for the Rams. Meanwhile, the Rams' offense sputtered throughout the game, managing only a second-quarter field goal and a third-quarter touchdown after the contest was already decided. Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford had no respite from the Cardinals' aggressive pass rush. The veteran QB completed 19 of 27 passes for 216 yards, but he was sacked five times, including one that resulted in a fumble. You can't get him hit that quickly, McVay said, acknowledging the offensive line's failure to protect their quarterback. Cardinals linebacker Dennis Gardeck led the charge with three sacks on Stafford, further compounding the Rams' struggles on offense. The Rams' running game was equally ineffective. Kyron Williams, who had previously rushed for over 100 yards twice against Arizona last season, could only muster 25 yards on 12 carries, though he did score the team's lone touchdown. The absence of key offensive linemen Steve Avila and Joe Nadaboom, both on injured reserve, was evident, as the Rams could not establish a rhythm on the ground or give Stafford the protection he needed in the passing game. 